The Journey A Changing Southampton Indian Slavery in South Africa This project is supported by Heritage Lottery Fund and it's made possible by Heritage Lottery players. There are big questions rarely discussed in the media or in the homes of black and diverse people whose families were directly affected. For example, were Indians ever slaves in South Africa? Why are people from the Indian subcontinent all over the British Empire? What was the contribution of people from pre-partition India in World Wars I and II? Indenture existed in the British Empire, but why are Indians from that empire in Suriname, which was the Dutch Empire? So, big question for this particular slideshow. Were people from the Indian subcontinent slaves in South Africa? Well, the answer to the question is yes, and the information that we use is mainly drawn from a primary source, Indian slaves in South Africa, a little-known aspect of Indian-South African relations, which was by, written by E.S. Reddy, who, other than being a significant diplomat and author, was also one of the motivating driving forces behind the United Nations involvement in apartheid. And that article was released by SAHO, South African History Online. The Atlantic Triangular Trade, slavery, started in the 1480s when the Portuguese used African slaves to populate their West African island hub now known as Cap Verde Islands. In the 1500s, Spain and Portugal took African slaves to their New World colonies after removing by violence the indigenous people. This trade expanded to include the British and others as slavery expanded across North America and the Caribbean. Slavery in what we now know as South Africa began soon after. Jan van Riebeek set up a Dutch settlement at the Cape of Good Hope in 1652 to supply provisions to Dutch ships plying trade routes to and from India and the East Indies. People from India were taken to the Cape and sold into slavery to do domestic work for the settlers as well as the dirty and hard work on the farms. From then until late 18th century, when the import of slaves from, Russia, from Asia was prohibited, many hundreds, if not thousands, of persons from India, mainly Bengal, Coromandel Coast and Kerala, were taken to the Cape and sold into slavery. While some of the Indians were taken from Dutch training posts in India, a considerable number were also taken from Batavia as holding place for slaves that had been taken by the Dutch. Batavia was the capital of the Dutch East Indies. Its geographical location now would be Jakarta, Indonesia. Current research suggests that these slaves came from three main groups, that is Black African, 27%, Indonesian, 31%, and those from the Indian subcontinent, 37%. And within the Indian subcontinent, they primarily came from Bengal, including Bihar and Orissa, Coromandel Coast, especially Trankabere, Tutakorin, Nagapatnam, Pulakat, and, Masu and Masulipatnam, the Malabar Coast, including Goa, Bombay, and Surat. However, the slaves were dispersed and lost their identity, and eventually becoming known as Cape Malays. Cape Muslims. J. A. Heese in De Hercom van de Africana, 1657 to 1867, 
presented the results of research from parish registers and other sources on the ancestors of the Africanus. He estimated that in 1807, between 7.2 and 10 point whatever percent of the ancestors of the then living Africana population were African and Asians. His figures were perhaps inevitably conservative. It may well be that a tenth of the present Africana population in South Africa has Indian ancestry. Indians played an important role in the spread of Islam in South Africa. The first mosque in Cape Town was established early in the 19th century by Iman France and Iman Akhmat, both from Bengal. Afrikaners' own language, also called Cape Dutch, West Germanic language of South Africa, developed from 17th century Dutch, sometimes called Nethanlandic, by the descendants of European, Dutch, German and French colonists. But there was also a contribution to the language from the indigenous Khoisan, pe Khoisan peoples and Africa and Afric and Asian slaves in the Dutch colony of the Cape, Cape of Good Hope. The oldest book in Afrikaans is a, is a Muslim religious text published in 1867. Is a, the oldest book in Afrikaans is a Muslim religious text published in 1856. So people from the Indian subcontinent were slaves in Southern Africa. They were kidnapped, especially children. But it was also true there was a normal trade of hiring servants when travelling from India to Africa and then selling those people as slaves upon arrival in the Cape. Their existence was brutal, but many African men had Indian wives, some legally so, which was relevant because mixed-race people could legally marry white people, which significantly affected their life chances and that of their siblings. Slavery was officially abolished in 1843 replaced by the indenture system, which was dominated by Indian labour. As a consequence of the domination of their continent by the British East India Company, India, whose economy and trade on the eve of British occupation consisted primarily of gold bullion, now lost all of its wealth and revenue to Britain evasion of Jews on trade and the extraction of exorbitant taxes from landowners and local rulers further impoverished, impoverished its people. In rural areas, British administrative laws and actions led to peasants losing their land and moving into poverty. The reduction in exports of raw material, the heavy tax burden, and various other factors inflated the value of money and deflated prices and economy. Now, if you want to help with the Journey Project, please become a volunteer. Obviously, it's easier if, if, if you live in or near Southampton or Hampshire, but we can be creative, and there are a range of tasks which we will help to teach you. Also, if you, your fa you or your family moved from the Indian subcontinent directly or via Kenya, Uganda, South Africa, contact us if you want us to tell us your story. You can find us at the journey at unity101.co.za.